Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'll be talking about being a nerd and living the life of the party. Okay, for the benefit of those who do not know me that well, I'm from Port Harcourt and Port Harcourt is a city where social life is important to everybody. Like, ah, thank God it's Friday and things like that. And also I schooled in a private university that allows students to... Um, engage in social activities as they please but in accordance with the rules and regulations of the university but despite being a portacot girl and schooling in a university a private university that allowed us to um, enjoy our social lives i was more of um, a nerd let me not just let me not even say i was more of a nerd i was a nerd and more of the quiet introvert minding my business just doing what i'm supposed to do and things like that so i already said in my previous video i was never really involved in social activities in the school not until my third year when i became the vice president of our student association and my final year that's my fourth year when i was also the president of our students association so Aside that, I was not really engaged before that time. I was not really engaged like my first year and maybe my second year. I was not really engaged in student activities and, you know, social life things and all that. So that's just basic um, background about me. So after I graduated and I started my first master's degree program, I wanted a different thing. I wanted to explore better and I wanted to, you know, delve into the social aspect more, have fun and just, you know, just chill. So I wanted that. So I was the smallest in class, both in size and in age. So I was the smallest and when we got into, um, when we started, I people just saw me. I was always the one gingering, let's hang out, um, let's have lunch dates let's have dinner dates let's just hang out let's have fun and all that so if you stay in zaria you know zaria very well you would know mates you would know apple white and other good places and so i was always gingering my um my colleagues let's hang out let's have a good time let's go to mates let's do this and we did that like almost every weekend so we usually had classes on fridays and on saturdays also so because of that, we um, we didn't hang out on Fridays. We were always hanging out on Saturdays. And it was interesting. I was always ginger in it. So we always hang out, enjoy ourselves. So basically, people just say, ah, this private university girl. Ah, she always wants to hang out. She always wants to enjoy herself and all that. I was that open and all that. So um, to the extent that I didn't tell people that I graduated with the first class. Neither did I even open my mouth to say I made the I was the best graduating student for that year. I didn't say anything. I I just wanted to live my life normal, like just you know, be be more social and things like that. So it went on that way, first semester and then second semester. So and just one day I was coming to school and my phone rang. I was inside Keke going to school. It was a Friday during the Muslim prayer time and my phone rang. So it was Madam Jenny calling me. There's another lady in my class. She's my Zaria mommy. And her name is also Jennifer. And she called me. I was like, hey, hello, mommy. What's up? She said, Jenny, where are you? I said, ma, I'm inside KK and I'm coming to school. She said, Jenny. I said, yes, ma. She said, you made the best result. I was like, hey. Mommy, what did you say? Say yes, Jenny. We are you start coming to school. You made the first result. Congratulations. That moment inside the keke, I was so shocked. If you don't know what a keke is, keke is a tricycle. I was so shocked. I was like, eh? What did you say? Best result. Me that tried to avoid everything. I didn't really take academics that seriously like I previously did. I was just doing my thing and just being, you know, trying to live a different um, life from my undergraduate life. And I was like, how is this possible? So I saw it like, I, I didn't really read that, um, you know, and I didn't really take it that seriously. So how come, what happened? And I was surprised when I got to school, lo and behold, I made the best results in my class. I was like, eh? Like, I was so surprised because I didn't really um, plan to and um, I didn't really prepare to. You know what I mean? Like, you know when you didn't really um, give that concentration, like you want to make the best results, you want to make the best grades and things like that. I was just basically 
doing my thing, like just minding my business, enjoying my life. And um, I actually paid less attention to my academics compared to um, the previous times, like my undergraduate level and things like that. So I didn't actually expect that. So it was more like a shock and a surprise. Like I was so surprised and things like that. So people, um, my classmates were like, what? How come? You know, um, they already said it. They look at, ah, hmm, private university kids. Ah, all these children. They don't really know what's up with um, public universities and things like that. So they they actually saw me that way. My colleagues always, ah, this guy, you want to always hang out and things like that. So they were actually surprised and they were like, eh, how come? We didn't really see that coming. And I was like, I know I didn't really prepare that much, you know, and all that. Like, I didn't really put so much um, energy into it. How come? And I was so surprised. I was so surprised. Like, wow. Okay. Hmm. So, I was talking with one of my colleagues and a friend. And I told him, I was like, I didn't really prepare. Like, I didn't really read, read. He said, see, see you. He said, you didn't really read, read. Anytime I come to you, you're always reading. You're always on your system. You're... That was it, Sha. But even though I know that I participated so much in um, um, class engagements, like questions and answers, and um, I did a lot of seminars and presentations, but you know, that reading again, again, once them, I didn't really put so much energy into that and all that. But then here we are, and we. Um, God helping me, I made the best results in the class, which I didn't plan to and I didn't prepare for, actually. I would love to say I didn't prepare for, but my friend would never agree to that statement that I didn't prepare for it because it's like you're always reading and things like that. I didn't see myself as always reading, though. Yes, even though maybe I read sometimes and, you know, I, I would say I read sometimes, but people told me, you didn't read sometimes, you were always reading. So I saw it like, I, I didn't really read that, um, you know, and I didn't really take it that seriously. So how come, what happened? So the essence of this video is just to say that if you're a nerd, you're a nerd. There's no two ways about it, or there's nothing you can do about it. So even though you try to live the life of the party, try to, you know, um, enjoy yourself, hang out, have fun and all that. You a nerd is that you a nerd and there's nothing you can do about it. That's just it. There's nothing, absolutely nothing you can do about it. So just keep that in mind if you a nerd and don't be surprised or shocked as I was when I heard that I made the best results in my class during my first master's degree. So guys, that's just my gist of how a nerd like your girl here was trying to live the life of a party. But the life of a nerd will always catch up with a nerd. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Drop your comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.